So as you can see that this is the game break instrument and the red one is the counter electrode and counter electrode is the platinum wire. So as you can see here, what we have here is the red one and red one is attached with the counter electrode and that is the platinum wire. Now what do we have next is the reference electrode. Okay, so reference electrode is attached to the white one. So here as you can see that this white is attached to our reference electrode and this here is my reference electrode. Okay, and this beaker contains the electrolyte and the electrolyte is the KOH solution. Okay, so my working electrode that is the nickel foam, it is attached to this one here. Okay, as you can see here that this here is my nickel foam and on this nickel foam is my material. Okay, so after doing this, what you have to do is you have to just go on to your PC. So to perform galvanostatic charge discharge, you have to just go to uh, the experiment section, okay, and then you have to select the option for cyclic charge discharge, okay. So this is the window that will be appear for uh, the cyclic charge discharge. Okay, so now what do you, what you have to do, you have to type the name of the material here. Okay, so uh, let's just say that I'm writing the name of the material as MNCO. Okay, so the next is uh, the capacity and then we have the uh, different parameters that you can set according to your own needs. And then what you have to do, you have to click on OK and then click on Yes, again OK. So this is the main um, the main window uh, on which you have to set all the parameters. Okay, so there is the number of the cycles, mean how many cycles do you want to perform, and then first you want to charge or you want to discharge the material first, so you have to select the option accordingly, and then there is this sample period, and then uh, what we have is the loop end one, loop end two, and uh, this is the main thing that we have is the discharge parameter and the charge parameter. Okay, so what you have to do next is uh, you have to set the discharge parameters. Okay, so for discharge mode we have this, uh, the current here in amperes, okay. So I want the current to be 0.003 ampere and then uh, we have the discharge stop at 0. Because I want my material to stop the discharge at 0 volts, so that's why I have placed the discharge stop at 0. And then uh, this is the charge parameters. For charging what I want is I want it to be uh, the current to be the charging current to be 0.003 and then I want the voltage to be like 0.415 volt. So I have placed the charging stop at 1 to be equal to 0 0.415 so this is one limit that i have placed on the charging so as you know that the charging will start from 0 volt and when the charging will reach at 0 0.415 volt the charging will stop and then the next discharging process will take place and for the discharging parameter i have written that the discharge should stop at 0 volt so when the charging is finished at 0 0.415 volt, the discharging will start. And when the discharging will start, it will go all the way down to 0 volt. And then after doing this, what I have to do, I have to click on OK. And when I click on OK, it will ask for another window. And all you have to do is just click on OK again. So as you can see here that my material is going to charge. So here as you can see that along with the time, my material is being charged. Okay.